I'm going to demo here some of the concepts of the re repeatable read. And uh, there's other videos out there, but I didn't see videos that actually uh, had a complete insert, update, delete example. So I'm going to do that here. Um, and I want to uh, I want you to pay attention more closely to what blocks and what doesn't block uh, in this case. So I've set up an example here where I have this uh, table, which is just name value pair, name one, value one, name two, value two, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to start a transaction and I'm going to try to insert and update and delete as another transaction is happening. So first I'm, I'm going to demo the situation where it's read committed because that's the default and then I'm going to go back to uh, doing the same exact thing with read re, uh, the repeatable read. So let me go forward here and do the read committed and as that's happening I'm going to insert a row and then I'm, I'm going to wait until this 10 seconds is over and I'm going to delete this row and you'll see what results come back. So, so you'll see here that in this first statement it just selects what's in the table and then in the second statement it actually reads the inserted row here and then in the third statement it actually again reads the uh, deleted row which is uh, this row that's gone so uh, this is the default and this is what people are normally familiar with uh, n notice I, I didn't run this in one complete transaction I ran it in each individual statements so uh, this is what you see here so this is uh, what, what we would normally expect with read committed now to contrast that with the repeatable read so let me reset my table here and you notice once again it's these three values so I'm going to run this in repeatable read and again I'm going to do an insert here and then when the uh, 10 seconds is up meaning after it reads this select statement I'm going to go ahead and delete this row. And notice what's happening here in this window. It's actually blocking. This It's waiting for this transaction here to finish. And now it finishes after this transaction is finished. So, so you notice in my second statement, it was actually blocking the uh, until this statement is done. So what happened here uh, with uh, repeatable read in contrast with the um, read committed? Well, if, if you notice, this allowed, uh, the repeatable read does not allow for phantom reads, meaning it doesn't allow for, um, I, I mean, it, meaning it, it allows for phantom reads here. Because what happened is, in the first statement, it read the entire table here. Now, what, ha what repeatable read means is that the rows that it reads is locked from being changed. So you'll, you'll notice in this first select statement it protects or it uh, locks these three rows and then I inserted a row so within the transaction of the repeatable read the second statement reads my inserted row and now the fourth row becomes locked. So in this delay here I actually deleted this row but even though I deleted this row, n remember that this here was blocking after I deleted the row. And it was blocking until this finished because it locked the fourth row. Because on the third read, I had to read consistently what I've already read. So that is repeatable read. And that's what you see here. It actually read the fourth row that I was in the process of deleting because it, it was holding this transaction open until it was done to allow for edits to those rows that I just read. So, so that's why this was blocking when I was doing that was it was waiting for this session here to end or this transaction here to end until I was able to delete it. Now that this wasn't the case with the read committed. If you notice um, I read the table here. This is the recommitted window. And after these 10 seconds, I inserted this row. 
which is what it read here but it but it didn't lock any of the rows until this transaction was over because in this other second wait here I deleted the row and in the third select statement here it read the row that was deleted so uh, just keep in mind that um, repeatable read does allow for phantom reads but after you read it um, it will lock that row and it will restrict it from being altered so um, you have to be very careful here because uh, something like this you could imagine does cause deadlocks and, and I'll show you an example of this here so I'm gonna run this as a whole transaction and and notice here and I'm gonna run this also as a whole transaction and this is actually gonna deadlock uh, and uh, the reason for this is because so you'll notice this deadlocked and and the reason for this is because it's waiting it's waiting for each other to finish um, this has a intent shared lock on these rows here and this has an intent exclusive lock on uh, the same rows that it's trying to change or update so it's actually colliding with each other and it's waiting for each other to finish um, and this being the select statement usually is the deadlock victim so um, so what you see here is uh, two demonstrations of uh, basically what repeatable read is which is uh, it'll consistently lock the rows that you've read but it will read phantom rows it will read rows that are inserted or even rows that are deleted that, that you didn't select um, and it will deadlock in certain circumstances in, in this case I actually select the whole uh, table so it may have uh, a greater instance of deadlocking but also to compare the difference between blocking and deadlocking blocking is uh, not necessarily a bad thing because you want certain things to be consistent uh, doing your job first before the other ends um, so but uh, I hope this clears up to you uh, what the difference between repeatable read is and read committed is which is the default and I will have these samples in the about section in the description section uh, so you can cut and paste and uh, play around with it yourself um, but this is handy in understanding when, when you're writing code, you know exactly what's happening here. Because here in this instance, there's only three simultaneous things I'm doing. Whereas in the database, there's constant locking. And of course, lo locking is not a bad thing, it's necessary. Um, but just be aware of um, you know, the granularity in, in which it is locking at the row, le uh, row level, page level, or at, at the table level. So, all right, uh, thank you for watching.